Hi, I'm Dr. Lorene, and welcome again to Lessons That Achieve. I got the book out again today because I wanted to share some special things. And in fact, I've got a friend of mine. You can't see her. She's off camera. I think she didn't want us to know she's got her sweatpants on today. But anyway, she asked me for five tips that would help her in her business. So I've got the book out again today. So here's what I'm going to recommend for her. Start to dedicate time to more meaningful activities. You know, we're always doing so many things, but how many of those activities really line up with your, with purpose, your purpose? Or should I say your why? We all know that why is our purpose. So when I say start dedicating time to those meaningful activities, those are the things that's going to help you grow. Those are the things that's going to help your business to expand in the marketplace. And most of all, they're going to help your career as you climb that corporate ladder. So what else would I tell her? Start doing what's right, even though the option to do something different is easier. And we all know it's easier to do sometimes the wrong things or sometimes the things that are not quite right. But start doing those right things because those are the things that will take you up the corporate ladder or expand you in the marketplace. Ah, this is one of my favorite. I was guilty of this. Start comparing yourself to yourself and to no one else. There was a time I used to compare my inside to someone else's outside. So if you're going to compare, don't do that. Compare yourself to yourself. Because if you don't like what you're comparing to, what do you do? You improve it and make it better. Number four, start being more tolerant of those who see things differently. We all know there are people in our lives, they don't believe what we believe or they believe differently. But look for the value that they bring to you, they bring to your company, they bring to your business, they bring to your family. So stop. Look at the differences and embrace them. And last but not least, start letting grace have the last word. You know, so many times we're critical of other people. Let's show them a measure of grace by being nice. What about saying I love you? What about saying I appreciate that business tip you gave me? What about saying thank you for mentoring me? I just got that promotion. Those are the things that make a difference. Well, it's Dr. Lorene, and that's another lesson that achieves. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.